I wanted to build a new wind tunnel. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a brand new wind tunnel. There's three things that I wanna to accomplish today. One, a sliding door. Two, better laminar flow. Three, no hot glue. And bonus, if it's all under $150. So we start with our materials. We have 10 PVC pipes. These are half inch, five foot long. And then we have some slats. Uh, I don't really know how long these are. I should have looked, but I got them at Lowe's. And I got a two by two plywood board as well as a polycarbonate sheet. Somehow I missed this, but I took those two pieces of plywood together and I just basically screwed them together. I had to drill and then add some screws. But this is the idea of sandwiching three of those slats together so that way the polycarbonate can slide through there. When I was at Lowe's, I realized that they were the same like thickness, and so I could use three of them to create a little track, uh, which is kind of the simpler way to do stuff. And speaking of simpler ways, this was not. This was uh, probably one of the most silly things I could have done. I didn't have any clamps, and so I thought, you know what, I'll use my batteries uh, to clamp it down. And then I also thought, oh my goodness, this is gonna take forever to build this wind tunnel. So I was trying to figure out a better way to do it. Uh, and then I remembered, I have CA glue. If you don't know what CA glue is, man, it's incredible. It's basically super glue with an activator. So I used the super glue to hold everything in place. And then I used the wood glue to make a stronger bond uh, as a drag. And it, and it worked out pretty well. It, it, this thing came out really sturdy. So I'm just kind of cleaning up, making sure I don't have any glue on anything. And boom, there you go. That's the idea, to be able to slide it slide the window through there so i don't have to take the whole thing apart anymore but i needed to start building out before i could start building up so this is going to be the track for the top piece of polycarbonate so that way we can look down at the thing that's in the wind tunnel i think this is going to be a pretty cool addition if you have an idea of what kind of light i should put over the top to get a nice view let me know in the comments i have had a light strip in the last one and it worked okay but because it's so hot in the garage that too kept falling off and I kept having to stick it back every single time that I wanted to shoot a video and so now I'm kind of thinking about one of those articulating work ring lights uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can have an idea but yeah let me know what you think or if there's anything that I'm missing or if you have an idea of the lighting method I should use for this wind tunnel let me know Right now we're just using a Milwaukee work uh, work light. It works okay, but I'd rather have something that is a little bit more specialized for the type of videos that, that we want to watch, that we want to see. Okay, so now we're getting to the part where we get to put it on top. And before we get too far, let me tell you that my phone died as I was in the middle of doing this. And so I ended up having to just put some screws in the back end of this thing so that it would, that it would hold and then it would stay there because just that ledge and the weight of the wood, it wasn't strong enough with the glue uh, to immediately just hold right there, right where I wanted it to. And this is where it stops. So I let my phone charge for a little bit. And we come back and we are now cutting the support piece for the slats that's gonna go beside the laminar flow to be able to hold it all together to create a structure. And instead of measuring it, I just took the slat from one side and uh, cross-referenced it with the height to get the height that I needed. But I didn't get to do that on this top part, so I actually had to measure, which I'm always a little nervous about. My measurements are not usually right. So I needed a way to be able to hold up the this structure part as we kind of glue it in there, but I didn't have a way to do it. So I thought, you know what, I'll just cut the rest of these laminar flow PVC pipe pieces. And that'll kind of help create a top structure. It sounded real nice. Kind of sounded like the Legos. So I'm just kind of testing it and see if this is going to work. And then I want to give you guys a shot. But I thought that these things were going to be too long. And I also didn't want to go back to Lowe's and have to buy more because this channel doesn't actually make any money yet. So kind of hamstrings our speed of what we can build things. But I have a dream that one day if this channel does start making money to be able to build a massive wind tunnel to put crazy things. A video idea I have uh, that you guys could probably help me with is putting a toilet in a giant wind tunnel, testing it and then comparing it by actually throwing the wind tunnel or dropping it from a really high height. I think that'd be really cool. 
But if you want to help us speed things up a little bit, there's some links in the description. Um, one of them is for Redbubble, and I made some stickers on there, hoping that it could provide you know a little bit of income so we can do some things a little bit faster than normal. So if you want to support the channel in that way, that'd be really cool. Yeah, go check it out in the link in the description. Also, this feels like a good time to say that if you like this kind of stuff and want to see random stuff in a wind tunnel, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That would help us out a ton. Thank you very much. And I'm putting these laminar flow construction pieces, is what I'm professionally calling it. I'm putting those on here basically for those seven on the top to give it some structure uh, as we create the as we create the top section for our chamber box. And again, I just held it with some CA glue just to hold it in place for a little bit as I continue to build across the section to actually make this wooden box. And have I mentioned how much I love CA glue? CA glue is not a sponsor, but if it was, that would be pretty dope. Uh, yeah, it's just super glue and activator and it's basically an instant hold. That stuff is amazing. I would buy a lot of it if I could. Yeah, this next part, it gets a little squirrely with the super glue because it works, but it kind of works, but it doesn't kind of work all at the same time. And I'm like worried about the PVC pipe if they're all gonna fall on the ground because I guess I hate picking stuff up off the ground. Anyways, these are my woes, uh, but eventually we got it and uh, it stuck. And it just took several different times of putting the CA glue on there. But what I realized and didn't really get a shot of is that the plexiglass polycarbonate board was actually too wide for uh, the dimension of this box. And so I actually had to oh, cut it down. Sense. But when I cut it down, it was actually a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be. And so I had to create, you know, a little face frame to be able to hold it all in together, really just so that the wind wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't whip around in there and mess up our, our laminar flow, uh, the way that we keep the air going uh, parallel and uh, nice and neat. So so after we cleaned this up, uh, we started building on the top uh, to get the top polycarbonate plexiglass thing. I actually don't know which one it is. Um, but yeah, we're just working on that one now and this added a lot of rigidity once I added the cross beams and stuff. Cause right now it's still kind of flimsy, just held by the CA glue. Uh, but once we get those cross members on there, it gets really sturdy. So I'm just cutting them down, cutting them down in the size, just matching it. Don't really have any specific measurements. And then CA glue, wood glue, holding it on there. Man, I love CA glue. And so now we should be able, oh, cleaning up the glue. Uh, now sh we should be able to slide the front side in and then also slide the top side in. Well, I guess not. Uh, I guess I kept cutting some pieces down, adding another face frame, really just making it look pretty. On that side, I just put some CA glue on there and called it good. Uh, the wood glue would have been way too runny if I were to try to do that and it would have taken way too long to dry. And it ran all over the place. So now we start on the top part. Um, really just making that sandwich real nice to be able to hold the uh, plexiglass on the top. Just give it a stopper so it doesn't slide all the way out. If you want to build one of these wind tunnels for yourself, it can actually be as simple as you want it to be. You don't need to use wood. Uh, I did because it's in my garage and it's the summer and it's hot in the garage. But there are a few things that you want to think about when you're building it. It's one. What material do you want to use? How expensive do you want it to be? And then after that, you can really just get to town. You just need basically a box with two open ends on the end of it. One side has straws or PVC pipe or boba straws to provide some laminar flow. And on the other side, I just use a variable speed computer fan that I can put a link to in the description. But honestly, you can you can use whatever kind of fan that you would think. I thought I would get better results being able to change the speed pretty dynamically with the variable speed computer fan. And then I also used a photography portable fog machine. Uh, and that seems to give me the best results rather than a water mister that I had used and had seen on the internet. Um, that wasn't too expensive. I'll put a link to the one that I got in the description below if you wanna buy that one or check it out. But yeah, it, it's it's honestly not as hard as I thought it was gonna be once I actually did it. And so the second time making one uh, honestly made it even a little bit easier. I had a better idea of what I wanted to do and improve on based on the first one. 
and that's kind of what you're seeing here so really honestly i'm trying to experiment with these three inch uh pvc pipes and the length of the pvc pipes i am very curious about as to if it will actually work or if these are honestly too short to provide us with the visual satisfaction of what we would hope for and expect so later in the video i'll show you what i'm talking about with these pvc pipes that we're using for our laminar flow delivery system so just a few more layers and then we're going to get to test this for the first time uh, it's not going to be perfect and this test is either about to get me excited or it's about to break my heart so here we go taking off the polycarbonate so that we can see on the inside and we're taking off another another polycarbonate so we can see in the top Mm, yeah, except what I just said was backwards because that was a front face. So there's the other one, put it on top, and we're gonna get our fan close, just a test fan, not the real one. Our fog machine, and I realize you can't see anything. So close the garage door, change it up. There we have it. So there we go. That's the first test, and it got me honestly pretty excited. You could see the smoke coming through, and it went in one direction. Uh, and it was fairly laminar up until the point of where you see it gets just a little bit crazy. But, I mean, that's to be expected because there's a huge gaping hole uh, in the top and where the fan is. And so uh, I need to button those things up. So I made a choice. I made a choice that I hope I don't regret. I decided to take the uh, funnel area of the first wind tunnel and cut it off, rendering it useless if this wind tunnel doesn't work and to me that means that there's there's going to be a lot of videos uh that aren't nearly as good um visually as the ones we have been doing and i'm kind of a little nervous but i can't stop myself i'm very excited so i decide to bite the bullet and just start taking it apart because i want to see what this thing will look like uh, and see if it will give us some really cool visuals but if i'm being honest I wanted to finish this project. I wanted to see wind tunnel completed and I ran out of money, so I couldn't go buy anything else. And so I had to get creative with what I was already provided with. And that was this first wind tunnel that I am just aggressively ripping apart because it was hot glued. And for some reason that hot glue decided not to melt. Um, it's the only places that it decided to not melt in the first wind tunnel. Everywhere else it was already falling apart. So I'm just trying to deconstruct it without breaking it, which was a lot harder than I thought. But honestly, not nearly as bad as it could have been. It was just a lot of masking tape. But because it was connected to the foam core board that is made of paper, some of the spots decided to uh, delaminate from the pieces of paper, or from the foam core board. So as I'm just deconstructing it, I have a horrible realization that I'm gonna have to do. I don't have strong enough tape to be able to attach all of these pieces to there to hold it on for a while. So I, I, I break out the hot glue gun and it hurt me. It hurt me to do so, but I mean, this isn't gonna last forever. So I figured that this temporary fix would be fine. Uh, now, if it starts falling apart, like I'll just, I guess, have to hot glue it until it either cools down or, or there's an opportunity for me to just build a better thing with probably more CA glue and wood glue, um, but that'll have to happen in the future. But would you want a part two of this? Did you want to see me continue to finish this up? It's, there's a few things that I know I want to do to it, like painting the inside black, so that way we can have the contrast of the smoke and whatever's in the wind tunnel with uh, a darker background. Another thing that I want to do is test a couple different ideas of the laminar flow delivery system as we are affectionately calling it. A couple of the things that I want to test are do longer PVC pipes work better or do longer parallel makers work better, so, aka longer straws, longer PVC pipes. Does that provide a more consistent and parallel airflow so that the air doesn't separate and become turbulent as fast as a shorter one. And another thing I wanna test is if the thickness of the PVC pipes of the walls actually hinder the laminar flow process. 
So basically we would compare and contrast straws versus PVC pipes, but focusing on the thickness of the wall to see if there's a better difference. So there's a lot of ideas I have on that side, but let me know in the comments what you think we should update next. So without further ado, let's officially test this new DIY wind tunnel. I added some tape, as you can tell. I was trying to close up all those holes, but my phone actually ran out of storage. And so I had to do all that uh, without without a camera. So we get to slide the door open, which I'm very excited about. It's a pro move. We can slide the top off, but I haven't figured out. I had to tape that, and I haven't figured out a good solution for that. And so, here we go. Let's find out what happens to this airplane in a new DIY wind tunnel. And I forgot to turn the fan on. Oh, hold on one second. There we go. All right, look at that. Look at that. We're moving and grooving now. Please let me know in the comments your thoughts, general ideas, and we will see you in the next one.